the last few months, I didn't feel he right. I didn't feel he right. He was not the same guy. He was always sad. His biggest fear in life was, was the what if question. What if I had done this? What if I had done that? He never wanted to, to, to have to ask himself that question. He was, not, he was not spending too much time in the gym here. And he signed finally to fight in New York in December. He's supposed to be fighting now in December. And two days before he died, you know, he sent him a message. Coach, I'm going to be there training uh, on Friday, you know, because we had a conversation. He goes, Coach, I'm going to take this fight serious. I'm going to train for eight, eight weeks camp. I'm going to listen to you guys, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the, 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 the win, the victory, you know. He overdid everything, you know, and especially his workouts. He, he pushed it to the limit always. I think he, he just went, okay, I'm going to party before I go back training. I don't know. Obviously, you know, there was a lot of drinking, and, and as his roommate and one of his best friends, you know, I was there for him, you know, and we would have those long nights and talks, but it would get to the point where, you know, I had to work the next day or I had something that I had to do, you know, so I would go to bed, and then he would have those late nights by himself. I remember once, one of the last times he trained, he was like, like he was not there, we stretching, and Josh was not there, he was sad to say, Josh. What's going on? You know, he was always on that, you know, mission to the UFC, you know, and and it was never, you know, a question of if, it was always when, you know, and he knew, he knew he would make it, I knew he would make it, I think everyone did. Um, he had a natural ability, you know, uh, just destruction, you know, he was just a, a gorilla-like human being, you know, he, it seemed like he broke almost everything he touched in the house, whether it was Tupperware or uh, glass or, you know, anything. You know, he just had that. Uh, he didn't even, he didn't understand his own strength. He's in, walking around Publix and they're like, uh, well, the owner of a gold trailblazer, please come to your car immediately. Um, and he's like, oh my God, like, what did I do? You know, and so he goes outside and there's cops and firefighters and like, uh, like the fire department surrounding his vehicle. He's like, oh my God, <laughs> like he didn't know what to expect and uh, they're like sir we need you to pop your hood there's a kitten in your engine and he's like what and he's like this old lady heard this little kid meowing and called the cops and he comes home and bursts in the door he's like Brian we got a new pet <laughs> I'm like you know I'm allergic to cats right and he's like yeah but it found us it's destiny bro and I still have the cat so he didn't know it at the time but me and my fiance had gotten pregnant um, and we hadn't made it public yet so I, I told him, I was like, hey man, I got some big news for you, you know, and he's like, he's like, he's like, what, tell me, tell me, he's like, I was like, I can't yet, you know, I, I, I promised, you know, my, my fiance that I wouldn't tell anyone yet, and he's like, you got to tell me, and sadly enough, you know, I never got the chance to tell him. But he's supposed to be here, and he's not here right now. Still can't believe, man.